Morning, one, two, three. Morning all, welcome back to the channel. Um, this video is about equipment, so if you're not interested in photography kit, then uh, obviously you're more than welcome to give this one a miss and I'll be back to my normal content, you know, photographing wildlife and videoing wildlife and, and putting that stuff on my channel. Um, so, I wanted to talk about the Nikon ZF. Is it a good camera for uh, wildlife photography? Now, it's a retro style body, uh, which I'm not massively keen on, but it's a retro style body with loads of modern technology inside it. So yeah, is it a good wildlife photography camera? Now, we've got at the moment the Z9, which is a fantastic camera for wildlife photography, and the Z8, which is also a great camera for wildlife photography. Uh, they've got a fast frame rate, they've got animal eye detect, uh, they've got everything you need. Now, I've got a Nikon Z6 II, and the autofocus is fine on that, but it doesn't have animal eye tracking. Uh, and the Z, uh, it does. So that's a really good um, um, improvement. So the, um, the Nikon Z9 is £5,300. The Z8 is £4,000. The ZF is about £2,200. So it's the first Nikon body that's, I know it's still a lot of money, but a, let's say, mid-range price uh, that's got uh, animal eye tracking which, uh, you know, for birds, uh, wildlife. So that's a massive, massive improvement. It's uh, got a frame rate of 14 frames per second for raw files, uh, 30 frames a second for uh, JPEG files, so that's also good. And crucially, it's also got uh, pre-capture. And that means um, when you um, press activate the autofocus, it's gonna take up to one second's worth of pictures before you hit the shutter button. And then I think it's three or four seconds after you've hit the shutter button so and and it will continually um dump the uh the first set of pictures in order to record more pictures so in other words you've always got no matter how long you hold your finger on the button, shutter button for you've got one second before and a few seconds after after pressing the shutter button down to take the picture so those for those um uh situations where maybe a bird flies off quickly and you're not quick enough to hit the shutter button, that's where it's really useful because you've already got a second's worth. But as I say, it, um, it, it puts the first pictures in the sequence in the recycling bin once you've gone over a second. So you've never got thousands and thousands of pictures beforehand. You've just got the one second before you hit the shutter button. So it's a really good option. Um, it's got a, um, a moisture seal body, so it's gonna be quite uh, rugged for uh, outside use. It's obviously the Z, uh, Z mount, so it's gonna be uh, good for any mirrorless Nikon lens. Uh, yeah, so all those things are pretty good. Video is good as well. Uh, 4K video at 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second, which is good slow motion uh, at full HD. And uh, on my Z62, uh, uh, I've got 120 frames HD, so that's roughly the same, but it also does N-Log, uh, so I think the video side of things is pretty good. Um, it's got a very angle um, screen, which if you're vlogging as well, which would be a bonus, um, my Z6 uh, 2 has just got, it tilts up and down, uh, same as the uh, Z9 and the Z6, uh, the Z9 and the Z8. So um, yeah, I mean, I think if I was looking for a mirrorless body now and I didn't already have my Z6 2, then uh, the ZF, Nikon ZF, I would really con seriously consider because I think it's a really good uh, option um, at a reason reasonable price, or, you know, sort of reasonable price. It's still a lot of money. So if you didn't want a Z9 and you didn't want a Z8 because they're too expensive, then the ZF, I think, I would definitely go for. Um, now, as I say, I don't massively like the retro uh, camera bodies with the retro styling. And certainly when you're using long lenses, I think that small grip is gonna be really awkward uh, to use. Uh, but there's a company called Small Rig, um, and they do a grip um, that bolts onto the bottom of the camera and it gives you a, a thicker grip to put your hand on. And I think that would be good if you're using long lenses. So um, yeah, uh, in my sort of, um, I think uh, my thoughts are, um, I'm going to hang on and wait for hopefully the Z6 III to come out because I think that's got to come next uh, and that will have, I'm sure, uh, animal eye tracking. Um, it might have a stack sensor, I don't know. Uh, the ZF hasn't got a stack sensor, so it's got the XP7 
image processor, which is the same as the one that's in the Z8 and the Z9, but the Z8 and the Z9 have got stack sensors, which means uh, the readout is quicker. Um, so, if you use the electronic shutter, you don't get any uh, rolling shutter, which means, uh, and rolling shutter basically means if you're uh, photographing something that's um, sort of moving quickly, let's say someone was moving a baton through uh, the sky, it would get a bit bent and distorted. Um, so the roll, you would get rolling shutter with the ZF, you don't get it with the Z8 and Z9, but the mechanical shutter will still give you 14 frames a second raw files, 30 frames a second uh, JPEG files. So, you know, that's for me is fast enough. Is it as fast as the Z8, Z9? No, it's not. Is the autofocus going to be as good as the Z8 and Z9? Probably not quite, but it's still very good and it's got the animal eye detect, so I think that's great. Um, if the Nikon don't bring out a Z6 III, you know, within a reasonable amount of time, so next year sometime, then I may well trade in my Z6 II and get the ZF because I think it's got everything I need. It's got animal eye detect, it's got a fast, fast enough uh, frames per second, it's got good video, it's got the animal eye detect, I think I might have just said that, it's got pre-capture, which I think is really useful, it's a rugged body, the only thing I don't like is the grip, but you can sort that out with the small rig extra grip. So yeah, it's, I think it's um, a feasible, more than feasible option for wildlife photography. And I'd certainly buy the ZF now over the Z7 II or the Z6 II or the Z5. So the only um, Nikon bodies that would be better would be the Z8 and the Z9. Z8 is £4,000, Z9 is £5,300. So look, this is a really short video. Um, Oh, the ISO performance is going to be great because it's a full frame uh, camera body, 24.5 million pixels. So yes, it hasn't got the 45 million pixels of the Z8 and Z9. So if you do a lot of uh, cropping of your wildlife pictures, that might be a consideration. Um, but 24 million pixels, I think it is enough. Um, will we like more? Yeah, of course we want more. But in that body, I think it's enough. The only thing, I, the other thing I don't like about it is it's SD and micro SD cards. Um, but you know, if we can get 14 frames a second using the SD cards, um, then then that's fine. So yeah, I hope you've, uh, you know, this um, video is uh, useful for you. Um, as I say, I'm not gonna rush out and order one at the moment, but I'll see what Nikon does over the next um, four or five months, I guess. Uh, see what they sort of announce um, maybe early next year. I, I'm guessing sort of maybe February there might be another an announcement. There seems to be that seems to be the time frame uh, at the moment. Uh, but if they don't make another announcement, then I think I might be in the market for a ZF uh, next year sometime because the animal eye tracking is is something that I'm, I've been wanting to get for a while uh, and it's finally beginning to trickle down to bodies that are not you know, ridiculously expensive. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll speak to you on my next video. Oh look, if you've got any, um, uh, any um, thoughts on the matter, just drop them in the comments section below. Do you think the ZF is a good wildlife camera body? Uh, and if you've enjoyed this video, if you can get a thumbs up, a like, that would be great. And if you um, enjoy, uh, have enjoyed this video and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, if you can consider subscribing, that would be also good. And then last but not least, um, yeah, take a look at my previous videos if you want to get a, a better idea of the general content on this channel. So thanks for watching and I'll uh, speak to you soon. Bye for now, guys.